26th, 2024, and we've just had, I mean, seriously, guys, the, just the, the fewest little sprinkles, and that's it. That's it. And according to the radar, it's not looking good at this point, you guys. It looks like everything is it, it's going to end up going just south and north of us. So, um, And everything doesn't mean much. There's hardly any precipitation out of this this storm but we were supposed to get a few hours of some <clears throat> pretty steady really light precipitation but i we'll see we'll see what happens but just to be real i don't expect that it's going to happen it is what it is you know all i can do is go with what my most reliable forecasts say as you can see we are getting some more sprinkles right now i don't know if you can can really tell but I mean it's we're definitely getting some moisture coming down I was hoping we would get uh, a little bit of snow. That was going to be a nice, nice addition to the 26th of April, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's it's going to happen. It doesn't mean that it won't, because it seems like every hour the radar keeps on moving around and barely clipping us, and then not hitting us at all, and then clipping us again and not hitting us at all. It's just it's a vicious cycle of who knows what the heck is going on. Ugh. Windshield's nasty, huh? Like the rest of the car. I need to get this thing detailed pretty soon. know those of you who've been watching for a while you know that any precipitation we get I'm always out here capturing it as soon as it comes down even if it's literally one drop I'll never know if it's gonna be one drop or a handful of drops or that's a steady little shower so that's why I always try to go out here as soon as it starts coming down at all and I'm hoping over by the dam catch some more precipitation coming down. Temperature is 43 degrees. It's not out of the question to see some snow right now. But again, I'm just uh, hopeful. If not, at least we get to do a nice little drive around the lake.
take as long as usual because we're not going to have to be extra cautious because of ice or snow on the road, unfortunately. For those of you snow lovers, you know how I feel about this. But for all you skiers and snowboarders, and that's all you really care about, this doesn't matter because even if we got a foot of snow, the ski, the ski resort's going to stay closed. But for you sledders and whatnot, you would have probably a day to come up here if it snowed a foot to get some uh, sledding out of it before it all melts and goes bye bye Oh, look at that beautiful view, man. Oh, it's stunning. Boulder Bay looks amazing right now. I mean, that is stunning. It looks like they cut out a bunch of trees right along that path, so the view's just that, but wow. They did something right there. They did something and I don't know what it is, but I'm going to investigate. I shall investigate. Next week we'll, we'll do a Harley video. I'm gonna try to get a friend to go, go cruising with me. I don't know if we'll cruise over to Lake Arrowhead or just drive around this town, but I want to start getting my Harley videos in of cruising around the mountain in Big Bear. Wow, why is this all wet right here? It's probably some melting snow runoff. shaded areas that do not see much sunlight you got these little patches right here that is great that's just super that's probably all you're gonna see on this journey actually that's not true over in fawn skin once we, we go around the point that area We'll probably see some snow as well. Yeah, there's not going to be anything else other than that. to the wettest part of the valley. Some more little patches of snow. Not real sledable guys. Definitely don't eat that snow either. Hi, right, waterfall. Hope you guys saw it. I kinda threw the camera up at it pretty quickly. I was hoping these clouds were going to produce something a little more over here, but again, you just never know unless you try. It's typically a losing battle in this town, but when you fight as hard as I do, you get some wins. Few and far between, but it happens. Temperature is 41 degrees over here, and we are at the Big Bear Dam. And we are going to, as I said, head into the Fonskin area. So if we went straight ahead, we'd be leaving Big Bear Valley right past that stoplight into a little area called the Little Arctic Circle. And yeah, this is this is gonna be I think this is the most full the lake has been since I've lived here, and yet we're still right around five feet below completely full. Sadly, once we get to the completely full point, just like uh, 
history has done. It's just gonna, we're gonna go into another drought like we always do. Lake levels are gonna get horrifyingly low. And then we're gonna get a couple really massive seasons about seven or eight years into it, which will replenish most of the damage done by the lack of rainfall. That's, that is so pretty out there. My goodness. inviting me to go out on their boats this summertime and do some fishing and wakeboarding or whatever. There's no way I can do that, dude. I'm in such horrible shape, but jet skiing, I'm down to do that for sure. Totally down. still watching. Hey, if you have any auto issues when you come up here, Gino's Tires. Killer mechanic shop, you guys. I'm telling you, like, uh, an issue that I've had for years that my old mechanic kept on just replacing the part and not coming up with anything else than, hey, let's just change the part. Maybe it'll work now. Hey, let's just change the part. Maybe it'll work now. Instead of like trying to figure out why the check engine light kept on staying on, um, Geno's did all that other stuff instead of just drain me of my money. And they even said, if 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 we can't get it fixed, then you're not going to pay for this. Integrity. So from now on, you guys, you guys get your butts over to Geno's Tires in Big Bear City. I'm telling you, any, anything that you have wrong with your vehicle while you're up here, you can trust me to give you the right referrals. Obviously, you know, sometimes uh, over time you see what's really happening with some of these places. And I can promise you guys always, if I don't feel comfortable with some of the spots that I've been referring you guys to, I will, I will tell you what's going on and have you go somewhere else. Here's some snow right here. A little patchy patch. This is that part of fawn skin I was telling you about. A couple more little patches up in there. But yeah, guys, again, I'm uh, bummed out because my old mechanic was, or is a really good friend of mine. And I hope he would never take it personally. Like, he destroyed my car. When they did my uh, lift, they, like, didn't put in proper, like, extensions in a certain area. And it kept on snapping the sway bar or something like that, like, four different times. And on, on the last time, it, it seemed like some research was done to, like, see how to fix it. And it seems like finally it, it, it was fixed. But um, now it's having some more issues with the suspension, which I'm getting that issue fixed next week through Geno's Tires. You 
you know, you always want to support your friends. You always want to support your friends. My gosh. You got to stand up for yourself a little more. Don't do it to the detriment of your situation. I'm not going to speak out on who my last mechanic is. I don't want to throw them under the bus, but those of you who've been watching the channel for a long time, you'll know who it is. Look, I've had really bad experiences with their mechanics over there. Um, that doesn't mean that you will, but I'm not going to refer you guys over there anymore. You guys are going to be going to Geno's Tires. It's such a gorgeous evening right now. Early evening. It's beautiful. It's so peaceful up here. Not that many people up here right now. Besides the snow this time of year, as we transition from winter into spring and summer type activities, it's so quiet. I love it. It's a nice break from all the craziness that goes on up here. up to 43. Man. 
guys, I was really worried that I wasn't going to be able to come out and do any video for this supposed little storm. That'd be horrible to do a calm before the storm video and then not have a video for the storm. But again, because we got those couple drops you saw, <laughs> I mean, it was something. I told you guys it wasn't going to be much, but I definitely expected a little bit more than that. I definitely did. I expected to at least like be able to see it snowing clearly on the camera. But unfortunately, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Right now we're taking a look at Snow Summit. shut down this last Sunday it's always sad to see this time of the year come about meaning the end of the ski season but you know as they say all good things must come to an end I went skiing more than I have in a single year since I used to live in Colorado. So that was awesome. And it was all because of my friend Ray. He gave me a season pass. Amazing dude. You guys know him from the ski videos and my hiking videos and stuff. He's the one who uh, takes us hiking and he's an expert hiker and we'll make sure that stay safe I want to enjoy the beauty out here but I also want to be safe I, I don't want to walk into any really bad situations and having Ray there he's extremely knowledgeable he's been through it all and by the way that's the direction the storms coming in right there guys and that's over in the Baldwin area look at just how, how drastically different it looks it's so pretty though absolutely gorgeous All right. back at Big Red Boulevard and I think that's going to be it for the video so look if something else happens during this storm I'll be out recording so don't worry about it we have a live feed going for the whole weekend uh, a bunch of you have requested to have these live feeds going more regularly, even without storms. So I'm doing that for you guys. I hope it doesn't take away the novelty. That's my biggest concern, is I wanted it to be special. But the more we do it, for no apparent reason, it's not as special. But if it makes you guys happy, and we have a cool place to hang out and chat with each other, then awesome. Let's do it. So every weekend, we're going to be doing the live feed no matter what. Um, starting on Fridays, ending Sundays. Peace out, guys. And uh, thank you for everything. I will chat with you later. April 26, 2024. Big Bear, California.